Quick Correct is the new feature in Speech Productivity 2.0. It enables very fast correction of reoccurring unwanted spaces, commas, periods, words or sentences and pretty much anything else you'd like to correct. Dragon Naturally Speaking natively doesn't allow this kind of batch editing, but now with Quick Correct you can. Here is one of my song lyrics which I'm not completely happy with because I would like to replace every instance of the word need to the word want. As you can see there are at least five of them. I will first copy everything to the clipboard. Copy all. Quick correct. The quick correct box automatically pastes in anything you paste on the clipboard into the box. Now I'm going to find the word I would like to replace and as you can see I have to replace all option enabled and there we go. Need replace with want. And there we go. All instances have been automatically replaced. All five of them. Now I will simply copy back this text into the document. Copy all. Close. Delete. Glue. And there we go. We have a completely corrected text. But no, I can see that there are a couple of unwanted spaces, which I also would like to get rid of. Let's repeat the procedure. Copy all. Quick correct. Now it's simply a matter of typing in the double space, which is presence here, here, and here. Space, space, replace with space. And now every unwanted space has been automatically been removed. As you can see, quick correct for Dragon, the fastest way to edit your text. Quick store is the fastest way to quickly save dictation or URLs while browsing the web. Piano grants. Quick store URL. Previous. Touch. Antique piano for sale. Quick store URL. Now let's say I was interested in this particular part of the text. I would simply select it and then issue the following command. Quick store that. Quick store. As you can see all new entries are placed on a new line. The quick store box automatically saves your input in its own program folder located in the program's files 86 directory. Its contents will be maintained until you decide to delete it, even after reboot. Now, should you decide to delete it, that takes only one voice command. Clear box. I have Thunderbird opened, and this is one of those applications that doesn't always respond well to direct dictation of text. It tends to make a lot of mistakes. Now let's compare the speed and interface of Dragon's native dictation box with the speech productivity dictation box. Show dictation box. Dear William, comma, I hope you're doing well. Don't be a stranger. Transfer. Now let's repeat the procedure, but this time we're going to use the speech productivity dictation box. Dictation box. Dear William, comma, I hope you're doing well. Period. Don't be a stranger. Close. Delete line. Dictation box. As you can see, the speech productivity dictation box opens about three times as fast and it has a bigger, more attractive interface. There's no need to resize, although Dragon's native dictation box can be resized. It will only last until next reboot. Furthermore, it can only be launched with a target application opened. The speech productivity dictation box can be launched on its own. There's no need to load any previous applications. This can come in handy if you decide to transfer your dictation to a different application. Speech productivity 2.0 features two new power commands for the dictation box. The speak and the send command. I will demonstrate it here on shareware for sale where I would like to comment on a program that's being offered for free. Speak. Well, that sounds like a promising program, period, but I don't think I would buy it, period. There you go. 
the dictation box is being called up automatically straight after I utter the word speak and the first sentence I say after that is being pasted in automatically. Now for the second command let's say I'm in a hurry and I would like to add a quick line. I would issue the following command. Send. Well I may have made a mistake period. I think I will buy it period. There you go. Did you see how fast that went? The fastest way to dictate in browsers. The hotkey box is open and you can see that I've already inserted some voice commands I use on a regular basis. The first one is a command to open up my website. The second one is a voice command to automatically shut down my internet connection. Function key 3 is assigned to opening notepad. I will be typing some text and then I'm going to use function key 4 which holds a close without saving command. Function key 5 and 6 are used to quickly launch a band in a box and quickly also generate some music. Function key 7 is used to close any window I use in this example. Finally, function key 8 will turn my internet connection back on. Let's start. Well, as you can see, my website is loading, pressing F7 to close it. Now let's press F2 to automatically shut down my internet connection. This is a step-by-step -step voice command I've created years ago and it appears to still be working. Now let's launch Notepad. Type some text, period, which I don't want to save, period. I'm pressing F4 to automatically close without saving. Now let's launch some music. Band in a box is opening. A second hotkey is used, plus an enter to quickly generate some music. Well, you get the idea. Now let's turn my internet connection back on, pressing the F8 hotkey. And it looks like I'm back online. Now let's say you wanted to change something. Let's say you wanted to replace the notepad voice command for a command that automatically opens LibreOffice Writer, a command I simply named Writer. Let's see if that works. And it's working. F7 again to close the window. The good thing about this box is that any change you make will be applied immediately, so you need not restart this application.